What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS. I want to welcome you back to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. And I'm going to be showing you guys a few replays, about four replays, demonstrating why two stars win wars. And what I mean by that is the way these high level, you know, the, these high level wars and the way the breakdowns are and where the meta is in the game, you have... You basically have your town hall lines attacking and tripling the enemy town hall lines. You have the town hall 11s dipping on the town hall 10s because uh, 10v10s just aren't as frequent where all the 10s are going to be clearing 10s. So you have the 11s drop down, triple them, and then you have your specialty crew of town hall 10s that jump up to two star the Town Hall 11s, and that is what we're gonna be covering in this video. And I have a few different uh, variations to a few different attacks that we're gonna be going over. As you guys know, breaking down the bases, uh, you know, base identification, breaking down the troops, what troop comps to use on certain layouts, as well as spells and so on. So we'll go ahead. Uh, these are a few of the attack uh you know troop comps and spell comps that we're gonna be going over in the replays um not the top one that's goblin knife that, that's my farming comp but if you look right below that we have a queen charge or a queen walk mass valk usually this is on bases that are more of a open layout rather than a compact layout where valks being as tanky as they are just shred through these these open layout town hall levens usually you queen walk one side to set the funnel you have a bowler kill squad uh you know bowlers often in the cc on the other side and then you send valks right up the gut jump into the town hall so we'll be going over that one of the more common ones and there are a few different variations we you know we can't cover them all but it's the golems and bowlers your mass bowler attacks um this is probably the most used and for very good reason it has a very high successful hit rate uh doubling these town hall levens and um you know again funneling some bowlers on each side some and with this attack sometimes you bring four golems which is brimstone sometimes you'll just have the the stoned entry with bowlers in the clan castle and the spell uh the you know the, the spells can can vary just depending on the base whether you need one jump two jump and so on and if you look right below that it's just a slight variation of this attack where you're using baby dragons baby dragons are perfect for picking up free percentage especially when you have a town hall 11 that has all their all four of their air defenses on one side of the base leaving the other side of the base very susceptible to something like uh back end baby dragons to pick up percent so we'll be covering that now i do have it's not gonna be shown in this video because for those of you that don't know cwl spins kick off tomorrow which is on friday and there were a few bases that are being ran in the CWL, so I promised I would not burn the bases. But the point I'm getting at is I do have um, a few attacks with uh, dragons using anywhere from six to eight big dragons where you are queen walking one side, king bowler funneling the other side, dragons up the middle, and one guy went three for four using it. So something to look at. And for those of you that don't know, the dragons did receive a buff, uh, a, a damage buff in this last update that we all got about a week ago, a little less than a week ago. But I will be showing you those, uh, those hits in a separate video after the CWL. And if you stay tuned, to the very end of this video, which I hope you do, I do have a very special attack to show you guys. Completely epic, absolutely insane. But that is enough talking for right now. We'll go ahead and show you guys how two stars can win wars. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right into the replays. Okay, so this is our very first example of how two stars win wars with the Town Hall 10s jumping up and two starring the town hall 11s and what steel wall did on this one what alex did on this one is he's doing it with a brimstone he's using four golems three of his own 
one max golem in the clan castle, and he has 24 bowlers that he's bringing along, and he also has six camp archers. You have to ask yourself, how am I gonna get 50% or more and grab the town hall? You ask, you have to ask yourself, you have to ask yourself those two questions and figure out how you're gonna get percent and how you're gonna get everything funneled in. It's all about the funnel, funneling your troops into the core where you know the town hall levens in these wars always are with these anti two star uh, base setups. You always have the town hall in the core. So go ahead and hit play, and you'll see he does have six archers that he's bringing along. And it's all about getting a good scout, looking at the base and figuring out how you can do this. So not only is he getting about six or seven percent from these archers, but he's also helping once he drops the bowlers, helping create the funnel, especially on these side on these side flanks right here. So just a good scout. Look at where the, these archer tower ranges are well out of range of the camp of the mine. All this good stuff right here. Camp goes down. And remember, you do have three minutes. You do have more than enough time to wait out something like an archer taking down a building. So you'll see he's going to be trimming both these flanks here up there at two o'clock and then down on the bottom left at eight o'clock. He drops down a golem on each side and about five or six bowlers rages everything up. So he, he it's basically a two for one. He's all he's creating a funnel at the same time and also getting that percent. So over here on the upper left where his entry is, where he has a jump spell, he ha he dropped his third golem as well as the golem that he brought along in the CC. So the Eagle Artillery has been activated as, it all, as the golems are tanking the bowlers, goes ahead and drops a rage right in that compartment. He does have a poison waiting for that balloon as that's about to go down. And you'll see right here, He's already well above 50, uh, 50%. He's already at 60%. And if you look down, he still has both hero abilities still up. So he's just going to get tons of value. And look at this town hall. It has nothing but a cunt here left. Look at the life of that town hall. Queen's going to take the jump. There she goes. She's just sniping those pups right there. Once she gets the last one, is going to one-shot the town hall. There it goes. And again, still has the ability. So pops it right here on the Inferno Tower. It's down, one shot's the bomb tower, couple shots gets the wizard tower, and that's where he's gonna end right there at 67%, so awesome job. And this attack is becoming a lot more popular going 10 v 11 style. So now let's go ahead and check out the next variation of a 10 v 11. Okay, so here's the second example that I have for you guys, 10 v 11. And on this base, remember, just like any other town hall, they come, they come in all shapes and sizes, whether that's going to be compact, spread out, all different kinds of stuff. And remember, base identification. So on a base like this, on a very spread out base, going with something like Valkyries, and you'll see Monster Oz does have 12 Valkyries he's bringing with this attack. And remember... Valkyries, level five Valkyries have the same hit points that a level seven giant has. So not only are they super tanky, but they do a bunch of damage. And especially in, in open bases like this, they will just sh completely shred. And mo more specifically on a base where you can get a very nice queen walk. And just look at this, this upper left side right here where he's going to be sending his queen. He's going to get all kinds of value from his queen walk. So we're going to go ahead and hit play and we're going to see how monster sauce breaks this base down. So he's starting down here at six queen followed up by five healers and he does drop the baby drag as the archer tower is distracted by the archer queen. So he's getting good value and those wizard towers do not do a lot of damage to a baby drag. So it will be able to take out a few buildings, no problem. So not only is he getting that free percentage right there, but he's also making sure that his queen does go the right direction. So she's just slowly working her way here as he is going to be luring out the CC because you want to take care of that clan castle. Last thing you want is a bunch of Valkyries with a balloon hovering above them. So here comes the, the clan castle. It's coming out. Does have a poison waiting for the balloon. Uh, just slowing that down, taking all that damage. 
goes ahead and drops down the max poison and the balloon falls right before it gets to the AQ and you'll see right here he does have a wizard just kind of helping out pop that hound that much quicker. You don't want to waste too much time with an archer queen beating on a, on a lava hound. So the pups are down right here. And you'll see he is going to be breaking into that wall right there. And this is good percentage right here. She's just one-shotting each of those builder huts, getting a percent. So over at the 9 o'clock area, he does drop uh, one camp golem, followed up by his CC bowlers. He also brought a giant uh, to complete that 35 troop space in his CC. And goes ahead and rages them up. So he's getting that percentage and creating the funnel. The last thing you want is when you send in 12 Valkyries and you see them run around uh, the outsides of the base. So here they come, goes in, drops a jump, not only leading to the Town Hall compartment, but also the Ever Deadly Inferno uh, Tower compartment, followed up by a heal and a rage. They one swing the Inferno Tower, couple swings, the Town Hall goes down, and he's already at 55%. So his objective of getting that two stars already in the bag, anything right now that he, that monster sauce grabs is all extra he's at 61 percent still has valks working on those buildings right there over at three o'clock takes them down queen takes down the expo she's going to round the bend here and take out the last and final building being that dark elixir drill ending at 66 percent so very solid attack just a different variation to the first attack uh using golems and bowlers this one um was an example using 12 Valkyries with a little King uh, Bowler Kill Squad, getting that funnel and watching how powerful Valks are, especially on wide open bases like this with a very good Queen Walk. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out another variation of a 10v11 two star. Okay, so this is our third example of kind of the Golems and Bowlers, similar to the first replay um, of that base that we broke down. So what he's going to be doing on this one, and one thing you want to look for, remember, base identification. When you see a base set up like this, especially when, you're, when, it, when it's a 10v11, if you look at this Town Hall 11 right here, look at all the ADs are on one side. And this is just a slight variation where if you look down at, at JP's troop bar, he does bring five baby dragons along. And remember... That's a lot of free percentage up for grabs on the opposite side of the air defenses. And level four baby drags are very powerful and can pick up a lot of extra percent on the back end towards the end of the attack. So we'll go ahead and hit play and watch how he breaks this down. He's going to be starting up at 12 o'clock. He's going to go ahead and drop down four balloons, followed up by a haste. And he's going to be grabbing that mortar right there, right at 12, as well as the archer tower. Balloon drop and the crash takes out the archer tower. So he's already at, got two buildings, already at 3%. Drops another two balloons. Uh, got one black bomb. Absorbed one black bomb. The other balloon drops the bomb. And the crash takes out the other mortar, as they always do. And he's basically kind of starting the funnel already. He want, he want He is obviously bringing golems with this attack. Does have an archer. Just picking up an army camp right there for one more percent. And another archer at the upper right getting that army camp for 1%. He did not want his golem to route to that mortar right there at 3 o'clock. That's why he sent the balloon in to take it out. So here comes uh, the second golem right there at 12. Is being nice and patient, not rushing it, not getting too excited. Uh, queen being tanked by the third golem. So she's going to go ahead and take out that archer tower and she's working her way into the core of this base. Does have a jump spell leading everything in as he did have bowlers in the clan castle. Brings his king in, drops the second jump leading into the town hall compartment. And you'll see the funnel was already created by the golems and the bowlers on, on each flank up at 12 and over at 3. So has a nice heal in there, healing everything up. Bowlers take out the town hall. And you'll see right here the back end baby drags just picking up that extra percent. Um, Queen doesn't have that much health left, but uh, she's going to be getting all kinds of percent as those baby dragons were tanking for her. So he's at 55%, drops down two more baby drags as that one is going to take out that Tesla right there. 
and right here almost got the mortar but did eat a seeking air mine he does have one more archer just kind of looking around seeing where he can place it it is going to get zapped by the defense warden right there but you'll see right there got 57 percent a solid two star and just a slight variation to the first replay that I showed you guys where he brought along baby drags, which pick up a lot of extra percent. So now I'm going to show you guys the fourth and final replay. I'm saving the best for last on this one, and you'll see why in a second. Okay, so here is the last replay that I have for you guys. We got Seabass going up against number six right here. If you haven't noticed because I sure as hell did, look down at the troop bar. He is bringing five P.E.K.K.A.s to this attack. That is 125 camp space solely dedicated to P.E.K.K.A.s. I'm telling you, he is changing the 10v11 game forever. And I, however, I did not see this attack happen live, but I was on voice in our shared Discord server with the Clantonimo Bay guys. And when this attack went live, they went absolutely insane when this went down. And they said, Riggs, you got to get your ass over here and check this attack out. So I've, I'm more than happy to share it with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and hit play here as he does have, uh, he's going to be doing a queen walk, five P.E.K.K.A.s, does have a pair of hogs and three Valkyries. So go ahead and hit play. And he is going to drop one balloon to absorb that Seeking Air Mine that was by that mortar right there. It's better to have a balloon hit a Seeking Air Mine than one of your healers. So it goes in, drops down the Queen, followed up by the healers behind her. And now he's dropping the three Valkyries, so he's getting that percentage. And he's also getting the enemy Clan Castle pull right here and creating the funnel. So a lot of things going on at once right there, just getting amazing value for all of his troops. Uh, goes in and drops the poison on the enemy CC as it is a big drag, a baby drag, and a balloon. Uh, under rage, that level 4 archer queen is just going to beat right through that. No problems at all. She's going to be working on the expo. And the funnel was already created as he does want her to head up north here. There's not a lot of DPS up there. So by taking out and eliminating all that trash, he is going to be picking up all kinds of percent. Remember, 10v11 is a percentage game. Uh, of course, and grabbing the town hall. That's what the P.E.K.K.A.s are for. So, she just takes out the air defense, just slowly but surely working her way up. Nothing up there is a threat to her. As she takes out this archer tower, and he's already at 22%. Does have an, uh, an archer working on the elixir pump, just getting any free percentage that he can, anywhere he can. So, archer's going to go ahead and take out that pump right there. And she's just working on the gold storage, going to be wrapping around. And he is going to be dropping his king down here on the bottom left, as he does have bowlers in the clan castle. So just has a little mini kill squad going in right here, grabbing that percentage and setting up the funnel for his P.E.K.K.A.s. Goes ahead and rages up the bowlers. They're basically just one-shotting all these buildings. Has a jump spell leading right into the core. There goes the P.E.K.K.A.s. Look at them all. Level 5 P.E.K.K.A.s all taking the jump. Heading straight into the core. Giant Bomb does absolutely nothing to level 5 P.E.K.K.A.s. Has a rage in the core right here. They're just one-shotting all these buildings. And he does have a poison spell to, just to help with those ground skellies in the core. They one-shot the town hall. Keep in mind, guys, he's already at 58%. And he does still have the Archer Queen ability in the bag. He's about to pop it right there. Uh, Archer Queen is going to lock on to that Archer Tower. Going to go ahead and take out that pump right there. He's at 62% doing it with five P.E.K.K.A.s. I could not believe it when I saw that. Uh, hopefully it opens up your guys' eyes to different attacks and different strategies. Remember, the P.E.K.K.A.s did receive a damage buff. Uh, they do a lot more damage than they did before with this last March update that we all got. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the different attacks that I showed you, different styles, different bases, and different ways to look at some of these bases and breaking them down. So I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for more content that I'm going to be pumping out and getting out to you guys. 
Um, one of our videos just hit 1,000 views. I cannot believe it. You guys have been showing this channel and our clan so much love and support. I really do appreciate it. But until the next one, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I will see you guys in the very next video. Thank you.